Okay, I've hooked up my computer to the printer, and I hooked up Ethernet, and I've set an IP address at the printer so that my, my computer can talk to it. Um, I'm not going to walk you through how to do that. We do have videos, plus you can call us and we can walk you through it. And I've hooked up a little external monitor here. First thing I want to do is I've gone to Internet Explorer, and you can do it with Safari as well, or Chrome, whatever browser you want to do. And I've, talked in, I've typed in the IP address for the printer. And I want to show you the web console for the printer, and you can see some useful information. There are two things on the web browser for the printer I think are interesting. First is it shows you your real ink levels. So black is 77 and the rest are 68. If we scroll down just a little bit, you'll see that it's showing all our paper sources. So it's very useful information um, if you happen to want to know what's happening at the printer. Next is we're ready to actually do a print here. And so I'm going to pull up uh, Corel Draw and I'm going to open something to print and there's a little, little photograph there. And so I'm going to print it and then what we're going to do is sublimate it. Okay, we're ready to print and sending data to the printer. So for, for the computer portion of hooking up the SG400, I recommend you call us and we'll remote in and hook up everything for you, uh, sparing you the expense of trying to figure it out on your own. Um, so that is certainly what I recommend. Our staff does a great job at that. During that process, we can also answer your other questions about how to use the printer, how to sublimate, um, whatever questions you have. Uh, if we don't have the answer, maybe we can find someone who does. I'm printing in the quality mode of the printer. This printer will have three quality modes available. And for, from a software point of view, really use any software you want to. Certainly my favorites are going to be programs like Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, um, Corel Draw, Illustrator, uh, things like that do a great job with, with color. And there's our print. And we're going to take it to the heat press and press. Today we're going to transfer to the brand new Unisub wood grain product here. Very nice product. And so we're going to remove the peel coat here. Now if you'll note on the back of this product it has the, the hangers and so always look at the orientation of the plaque. Uh, and if you make a mistake, hey, I recommend you take advantage of my wall of shame. Put it on your wall and show, um, show your mistake so that you won't repeat it again. And so what we're going to do is we'll orientate this here. We're going to put just a little bit of a mist of Pro Spray to hold the transfer on. And um, we'll spray it. Normally you'd spray Pro Spray over a garbage can so the mist doesn't get on there. And so Pro Spray is an alternative to heat tape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our plaque, key holes are in the right orientation, and we're going to place it in the right spot so that we get a great straight transfer. And of course I always struggle with uh, making things straight, so kind of stuff. And you can smooth it out, put it in your heat press, and what we want to do is um, make sure our cover paper swings across. And uh, I haven't adjusted the height, so we're about to do that. And so refer to our instructions for the correct press time. And there we go. That sound, of course, means we're ready and opening the press kindly and gently. We're going to swing it over and we'll pull over our cover sheet and ready to peel the transfer off. And wow, the wood grain looks fantastic. Just beautiful, saturated, vibrant colors, incredible detail. 
Um, just, just an awesome, of course, quality transfer and a great new substrate to transfer to. Well, I hope these videos have been helpful for helping you get your SG400 set up, printing, and ready for the software portion of the installation. At that point in time, call us. We'll walk you through the installation. And to close, I want to show you what I've done with my SG400. I have given it new skins. I've blinged it out. I've had a lot of fun. And as a special offer for Condi clients that get their printer from us, we will provide you a blank version of this in our subla wrap material for you to personalize your own printer. And we want you to take, take a picture of your design, we want you to upload it to our client gallery, and we're going to run a contest and show people what they've done in blinging out their printers. And we'll have a prize, of course. Well, I hope these videos have been helpful to you. I look forward to your feedback at dgross at Condi.com. Till we meet again, thank you.